right, this is my Tears of the Kingdom deep dive. I have already watched the trailer once. I was very impressed. A little bit of... I had slight disappointments about some things, but I'm going to tell you, it's, it's not that serious. It's literally not that serious. And it's not what you believe it is. But I was most... Most of all, I'm excited. I want the game even more. I'll pay 100 for it. Now, let me tell you why. Let's take a deep dwell into what this game is. Let's go. EJ Adam with the Joy Cons. Like, all right, right away we can see the horse. You know, everything looks looks uh, the same as Breath of the Wild so far. But you can already see a tower on your top left that is not a secret tower. It's on the mountain. Looks like some type of maybe a arena, maybe some type of. So you just fight you fight enemies on and keep going higher and higher and higher to get like a, a new ability or a new weapon or what. It could be anything. But I know it's important and I know they want us to go there. Alright, right away you can see reset camera, soon, whoa, and go. And I believe go was yay before. And uh, you can see coordinates on the mini map now. And it is, the map looks like it hasn't been explored yet because you can see blue. I might just be tripping, but it looks like it's incomplete, even though we definitely been here in Breath of the Wild. The map should be already be made. Uh, at least this part. And you see the fuel temperature gauge is, is slightly different. Not the fuel temperature, but the 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 temperature gauge has been slightly different. And you see the weather. Looks like a bright sun and light. The sun get dimmer throughout certain parts of the day, depending on the cloudiness. But I don't know if that has that affects the weather more or less. Maybe the weather system has been upgraded. If then, uh, good. All right, right away we can see logs. I don't know what that is. That looked like logs. It might be a material to help you get up like this. Like, like what was that? Hold on. Let me see. Let me go. See that? See, what is that? That looks like wood chunks. But ain't no telling what it is. Ain't no telling what it might be. It might be something to help you get back up, but that's pretty big, whatever it is. Could serve as building materials. Ain't no telling. We just got to find out in the future. You can see smoke coming from over there. Same thing seen in a 2014 first reveal of Breath of the Wild. You seen smoke coming from a place. So they bring it smoke back. Uh, they bring in more environments back because you didn't really have good uh, smoke or fog system like that in Breath of the Wild, which is well because you would think once after it rains, you see plenty of like fog in the area. You know, like how it's supposed to be. So you might have battles play out differently. That's just one of my hopes and desires. And uh, let's go. Nothing to see here. Like, you see the constructs. I don't know if you can see it too far away. Enemies or whatever that they explain. You know this construct. As he has on a construct bow. As you probably get from fighting one in the same area. Or uh, in the islands above. Ain't no telling. But uh, there's another one of them tower thingies. And you got some smoke type stuff on the top right also. Is that Kakariko? Or am I tripping? I don't know if this is Kakariko because I ain't played Breath of the Wild in a while. Because I know this is Dueling Peaks. And uh, it might be on the way to Kakariko. Either Kakariko or Hatino. I haven't played it in a while. See, there, there's the there's the constructs I was talking about. You can see it a little bit better now. Just keep looking on the right side of the screen. I'm gonna zoom in because my computer ain't that good. It might just freeze on me and lose all this. See, kind of a log or is that a rock? That's probably just a rock. A rock on the top of the little mountain. And uh, nothing really. See there. Yeah. There's the smoke we talked about earlier. Horses. I like different size horses too. I might just be tripping. See, there's a. Um, Right there, you can see some with a little green. Ugh. 
Green Swirl. The same kind of energy that's in those those little robot constructs that you see. And you're going to see more of that later. I need to reach my friend. Who is that? That's a Korok. That's a Korok. Now, what's in a bag? It like kind of stem, so... Uh, Kind of remind me of a Deku nut. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it just why it reminds me of a Deku nut, but it just does. It probably looks nothing like a Deku nut, but it, it reminds me of one. And uh, Beetle with his traveling bag right there, and the little girl. And that's not the same girl that talked about the sky, but those. Uh, you know, Duel and Peaks got twins. They got a little twin type formula going on, so. Nothing new to be seen about that. Last time they were sleeping in the bed, sometimes they run around there, but you know what it is. Right there, you can see um, steps, sign, building materials. I ain't no telling what's going to actually be possible right here. I'm thinking you could build a house because I don't see any wheels or, aside from this little carriage right here, that you're probably going to be able to use. To carry more stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything, any like wheels that you would make a car with or nothing. Cause that'll be here if you're making a car. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's just for building. Building a house. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, they of course they wanna hang up. They wanna take your attention. <laughs> I'm looking down. They did. They think they're so sleek with that. And I'll run away from it. You see the raft right there. All right, so you can make a little raft as well. And as he goes up, um, I don't see many people talk about this, but um, he's using a ability in the left in the left corner of the screen. You can see that light up you can see the print on his hand the symbol on his hand kind of change to to recall i mean that's a new ability to recall and he he can aim it you see that so if hold on let me go back let me let me see if they what what time is he on right now two all right we're gonna go back let me show you All right, so recall, you can cancel or, or rewind. Have I talked about the coordinates? The coordinates, you got 15, 70, you got 20, 61, you got 0049. I guess that's uh, depth and height, and the other ones are um, going around, just on the ground, back and forth, or you know, you know what I mean in the two-dimensional plane. I think this is not two-dimensional. You know what I mean. <laughs> that's that's the ground. But what you got to worry about the the two with the little minus sign? That is the ground, and the one on the right. That's going up higher or or down low, regardless of what it says. All right, let's see how the recall ability works. So, use it on an item. You got a set time limit to use it on. So, what I'm guessing is, this is not just used on this. You can use this ability, maybe on uh, enemies' projectiles. Maybe on uh, I seen it in another trailer. Do you? Uh, it was a stone coming down that link, like a a boulder of some sort, and he rolled it backwards. If, if you remember, in one of the trailers they got, he he rolled the stone backwards. So whatever he can uh, target, or uh, whatever he can affect with it, and I'm assuming you can target any item that can move in the game. Any item that's that's animate. I want to kind of work on enemies though. 
Maybe you can upgrade it like you did, like the stasis uh, room and, uh, on the Sheikah Slate. That'd be good, but uh, nothing pretty much see here. Just islands and different ways to get there. Like maybe a shrine right there. Maybe a, a more ancient type of shrine. Maybe they going like back further, uh, older technology instead of like the Sheikah technology, which everything looked more advanced. It was unnatural in a sense of breath of the wild but still good nonetheless but it's good to see something that's more natural so you can explore the scene more seamlessly through it seems like it fits in the world better it fits more in the world all right see so look at this map this map is labeled with things you see more items on the map you see trees you see well obviously your cursor but you see on here what you didn't see below when you was on the other map. You might have to just go on and those towers may unlock the map. Going around. Little area, that's a little circle thing, gotta be meant for something. Some, some, sums up with that. All right, all right, now you can see this soldier construct. I think that's what he's called. He he has the red eyes, so I'm assuming he's protecting something. It must be some here, like the shrine or something. I believe maybe it's maybe it's an upgrade of some sort. I know teller. Maybe these islands are how he gets uh the heart pieces. Or oh, I don't they're they're not they they're not gonna use uh what was it they used before? The spears? The orb, yeah the spirit orbs or whatever. The spirit always wanted to collect four and get a heart. Now, um, I believe he he may have more to upgrade it on now since he got more he's dealing with like he's dealing with like car stamina and we're going to talk about that later. Not car stamina, but you know the battery thing for for the things he uses and how much how much goo can he make. We'll talk about that later. He gets the shield and gets to turn him back and enemy animation is straight. And um, you see he jumps back on his last strike. I don't know if he does that in Breath of the Wild. But I thought usually you just pow, 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 like over and over to the enemy's dead. Even a critical hit just breaks your weapon and, you know. All right, already we can see this little little nerd item, little nerds, little nerd items. <laughs> I do not like to talk about this, but yeah, you know, we can already see the soldier construct horn, cause that enemy is a soldier construct, and uh, <laughs> the zonai charge. See what I think the zonai charge is? It serves as a battery. And it can it can power things um like uh like you know how you how you uh how the fan would like uh later on I'm gonna show you but the fan would like run out of energy or uh, whatever from from moving too long and you want to be able to fly a long time but later on in the trailer it's gonna show you you can't fly that long because it takes a lot I think just using just raw material without it being connected uh gives you like uh just just a regular base stamina and anything like a zonite charge or any any other bigger battery let's say will add up on the stamina it's like eating an, a, a stamina mushroom soup or something with the golden stamina wheel that that's what that's going to be like that's what like driving a car is going to be like you're going to get like a a golden battery well, golden gas wheel or something like that. That's what I believe a zone I charge is. I believe it also can serve a different purpose. Maybe you can use it on an 
inanimate objects that's, that that wants to become animate. I think you can make your own robot. That what I believe. Right here, we see the lush grass fields and and yellow. Like they're talking about why is this yellow? Why is this yellow? Because they're closer to the sun. Like things um, across the world, the way they are on Earth, it affects how the trees look. You you see different color trees all around the world that won't grow in certain climates. It won't grow if it don't have this X amount of water. It won't grow if it have X amount of, you know, uh, fertilization. It won't grow if it, like, this is up in the air. This is in an unnatural setting. So, I'm sure only these these trees will grow here. It's not a normal setting. Got the boulders. Now, um, this is the fuse ability. <coughs> so I add it to, and you fuse the boulder. I think that is that is like one of the cleanest concepts ever. You like fusing stuff. It's like Kirby and the crystal shards. So hopefully, uh, you'll be able to fuse some rods, make a fire and ice rod, <laughs> or you make a. <laughs> Fire and ice rod boulder. <laughs> All right, the durability has been increased. So I'm wondering if uh if when this weapon breaks, does it break in two or does it just break all together? It really don't matter to me because weapon uh durability has been fixed now since the fuse ability. It, it just creates so much more gameplay elements. You can give me like four weapon slots and I'll I'll always just have fun with fuse ability. Like what? <laughs> Like, what else are you going to need at that point? <laughs> what else are you going to need? <laughs> you know, you're not going to, you're not going to need anything else. Cause you, you can, you can merge, you can merge items. Now, ain't no telling how many, uh, weapon types they have on here. Cause in Breath of the Wild, they had so many, they had so many weapons and, uh, and they weren't even fusible. So imagine all those weapons, but fuse, you can make so many different types creating hundreds of weapons hundreds and then not only can he fuse what can not only can he fuse weapons but he can fuse like objects as you see with the boulder so this man could probably fuse i don't know doo doo <laughs> make a doo doo sword <laughs> And you fuse with it, so not charge. Hey, fuse with yeah, he fuse with the weapon. But he could put the he could put the the stick on the shield. So I wonder what that'll do to your shield. I wonder what it'll do to your shield. And I wonder what it'll do to your shield when your shield surfing. <laughs> you shield surfing with this long ride on there. You could probably surf. That's another thing. I hope you can surf on water. All right. Uh, fusion with the, the ice arrows and they showed the leaf. I'm guessing um, that flies slow. Maybe, or maybe just blows the enemy away from afar. Since they got one time uses and weapons, I hope they get the hope you get to pick up regular bombs now. Since you don't have the Sheikah Slate, you still gotta have bombs somewhere. Alright, that is a that is a different dragon as you see, because it has a whole beard showing under there. It has a beard like um what's that dragon name on Skyward Sword? Uh you know what I'm talking about. The golden dragon in Skyward Sword. Can't believe I don't know his name. That's that's the best dragon on there. Lanero. Yeah, Lanero. 
Yeah, he built the robots and um, possibly humans. <laughs> I ain't got the eyeball like that. Boom. But I don't think you can get any critical hits with that. I think that's the weakness of that. You can't get any critical hits. Because it looks like it just homes. It just hits the body. I can already see the the one the one uh con of it. You know, you can't just have it fully pro. You can't just hit critical hits every time. Now, he, he fused a strong with the shield. I wonder would it, when he shield search with it, what would it do? Or can he um I don't know. Can he use it on his sword? Or can he use that on his arrow? He should be able to. I don't know why he wouldn't. That'll make this trick better, but I can see why they would use it for combat because you're closer to the enemy. But I'm gonna have so much fun with this game. Alright, let's talk about this map right there. <laughs> You see that? That's a shrine uh, emblem. So shrines are in the game in some way, form, or fashion. Either that's a temple shrine or, or, or a special cave. You got these regular caves, but then I guess this is a super cave. This is a cave that might be, that might give you something special. That's what I think that is. Or either you got a tracking ability and you can track which cave you want to go to and you using like a thousand ability that they haven't showed us to find to find what stuff at sneak strike boom got him all right now you see you fusing with this wait he could have hold on wait knock him out again All right, I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was trying to fuse with that. All right, so you can put a log on the ship. Yeah, the possibilities look endless. Wait, cause you have, cause you have fused that. Hold on, wait a second. It's highlighted, but it hold on. Yeah, it's highlighted. So you can fuse this. You can fuse this. I'm talking about the wrap thing. You can't see where my mouse is pointed. But you can fuse that. That is crazy. That's, you can fuse all this right here. That's crazy. This, this game of the year, easy. This game of the year, you can fuse the whole wrap. Mike can help you swim. <laughs> Yeah, look, th this water looks hyper realistic. Why they got this realistic looking water in, <laughs> in an anime game? <laughs> this water looks too good. <laughs> this looks better than Twilight Princess water. <laughs> oh man, that water look. <laughs> How you stick that together? Listen, the. All right, the fact they gotta rotate, you can rotate the log. So you could probably have it at an angle, you know, like a like a ninety degree angle, and you can set something straight down there. Have one straight in the back, have one straight forward. Have it leaning up while you steering forward, and have like a barrier kind of setting you while you ride on the, like a death machine, and have some at the top. Uh, I don't know if you can set those uh, dragon torches. That uh, that is just shoot fire on the enemy, <laughs> <coughs> or you can use the fans to. You can have let me say you can have like four fans back there. Have like one fan down there. The four fans are gonna still push you far, but you can use one of them fans to blow them away. <laughs> That's just one of my ideas. That's what I want to do. That's what I want. That's what I be thinking about. I mean, everybody else thinking about just riding. 
I'm thinking about making death machines. I'm thinking about making a whole battleship. <laughs> I'm thinking about making an R-Wing. Because they can fly. Like, what's stopping me from making an R-Wing? <laughs> I'm going to find a way to make them mugs shoot lasers, I swear. I'm going <laughs> to find a way to make it shoot lasers. See, that's the way it's tilting, so you can tilt it. You could tilt it in any way. Um, check it out. Look at the water. This water looks so good. See? Look at that one. That is going to look clean. That is going to look clean. Be blasting enemies away. Because if it, if it can blast Link, it can blast... At least small enemies out the way. So you can, you can, uh, you see all that? You can get, you can move all the, all these items are movable. All these items are movable. They all are. You can make something just looking dumb. You ain't even got to make nothing that look good. You can just glue like three logs together with a barrel on it. Because I've seen the barrels that highlight it. You can do it. it. It it will have no purpose, but you can do it. It's the fact that it's possible. Easy game of the year. Easy, easy game of the year. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. See, you see that? You see that? You see that? Mm. All right. Now, a lot of people was like, "But you can't steer it though. You got to find the steering part. The steering part wasn't over here, but you can probably have it in your inventory or." I ain't no telling you can probably just fuse a stick to it and serve it as a steering column. Who knows? We still got a lot to figure out. A lot that he didn't show us. Wait a second. What did I just see? What did I just see? Alright. I'm going to let y'all look, look, look right here. You can see underwater. You see them stones under there? You see that stuff underwater? I think you're going to be able to go under there. I, I think because the water is... Come on now. They doing, they doing it on purpose. They doing it on purpose. I haven't seen no fish yet, though. See, you can see, uh, nah, that's not a stick. That's definitely not a stick. What is that, a Zonai handle? A Zonai steer? But I'm guessing it's gonna be able to connect all that and and be able to move it around. That's, that's gonna be cool. All right, see right here, I think those are more than just tires. I think there's tires connected to something else. I think these are cannons. <laughs> Cause I seen it on his shield and it was blowing fire. That look nice. See, he got it again, steering. He could steer in the air. Look at that sun reflection. Y'all don't see how beautiful this looks. Yeah, I don't see that. Look at the look at the smoke coming off of that. That's what I'm amazed by. See the smoke that uh, tells you that you're in the area. That is just amazing. And you see another cave system. It's on the top of that area on the left. All right, and uh, what was that? What did I just seen? All right, that area down at the down, the middle left, the, the middle far left. You can see a platform right there with some, that's a type of enemy because it got some red emitting from it. Maybe it's a Beemos or another construct, but I know whatever it is, it's protecting something on the left. It's probably that cave that's highlighted. It probably got something important in it. That's, that's my bet. That's my gamble. And, um... 
I'm betting it's gonna shoot lasers at you like a guardian. That's my that's my bet. That's my bet. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but all right. So as long as they're a ceiling, you say. So watch how the sand is highlighted. Watch it's highlighted, highlighted, not highlighted, not highlighted, highlighted. But it was highlighted at some point in the air. I believe he could have went back to the trip. Now it's, yeah, it's highlighted. It's not highlighted everywhere. That's a whole swimming animation. That's why I believe you want to be able to swim underwater. I doubt they just have swimming for this. I doubt that animation is just used for one thing. I believe there is more into swimming. See unbearable cold. Uh, yeah, you can see unbearable cold right there. That means this man is about to start taking damage. And I don't know if we can. Hmm. I think, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking you can use a sand to go back down too. I think he can use that move twice to go back down. That what that might be. It could be, I don't know. But I think uh, you can use it to go down a level or Right, here's another construct with a fan thingy. What I what I believe it is, I believe uh, they can they can create stuff too because they got the same type of energy link gap in his arm. <clears throat> so why wouldn't they have that ability? And I believe you're gonna see magic constructs. All right, I like how he falls and in, in the free time you can see the malice areas down there. Down the bottom, you can see most of the map like this. That looks like a dragon right there. A little glimpse. All right, uh, whoa, what's that? I don't know what that is. You can see little islands right over there. Little nice sky islands. And he's gonna glide all the way down. And we know this area because I just now see the bridge. Boom, it highlighted, it was highlighted. Now it's not highlighted. It was highlighted when he was underwater. Now it's not. Let me go back. See, check this out. This is what worries me. It is highlighted. And he did the swimming animation when he was using this. So what I believe, if you're underwater and you need help getting up, you can use this ability. Why else would it be highlighted in water? It's highlighted when you have when you use it when it's used. Either that or it's a glitch. But I'm hoping is uh what I got what I think is a help to quick quickly get back to surface. Because you obviously won't have enough stamina to to swim all the way up if it's deep. While the option is not here right now, you only see dash. I think there is ability to, to descend. Just like uh, when you looked at remote bombs, it was a square bomb and a circle bomb. That's what you got from one power. You got two powers in one. And um, this may just be another upgrade. Even with even with, cry, with stasis or whatever. You got to freeze inanimate objects and inanimate beings. So it's very possible he can still dive underwater. Very possible. The way the visibility is more visible under there now. And uh, more building materials at the end. You see that house? Ready to be built with a sign. What I think is going to happen once you build this. I think it's a little side quest. A little side mission that give you stuff. But what's on there. 
probably isn't enough to build a full house. You probably just need to build a box. They probably just want you to build a box. And I, or you got to find other material for it. And it's probably these trees. You can probably cut trees in more areas. And I'd like to see how this going to come out. If I'm right or wrong, I'm probably right. Because they, uh, they had houses planned being in a... Uh, in the in the first game, they wanted you to be able to build houses, but I think it was something dealing with time, or it was impossible at the time. <laughs> it might have been the Wii U's fault, but now was in in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Switch exclusive, they can do more, and they did more. Can't wait for this game to come out. I believe it's much more to it. See y'all guys later. Most importantly, have an amazing day, and let's get ready to play.